Hi everyone and welcome back to Dr. D's 411. Today, we are going to answer a question that has confused people taking cholesterol medications for many years. Everybody is confused, just like you. No, 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 no. Is it safe to drink grapefruit juice or eat grapefruits when taking cholesterol medicines called statins? All of this and some ridiculously funny jokes during this episode of Dr. Dave's 411. Oh, and remember, if you want to hear the answers to some of life's most intriguing questions, such as who is buried in Grant's tomb? Is there life on other planets? And what are this week's lottery numbers? Then make sure you check out my website, open 24-7, drdavedegatti.com. Okay, well, maybe we don't have the answers to all those questions, but we can definitely help prevent heart disease. Every year, thousands of people are told not to drink grapefruit juice or consume grapefruits for the fear of interacting with a group of cholesterol medicines called statins. Statins are life-saving medications that are commonly prescribed and include familiar names such as Lipitor, Crestor, and Zocor, just to name a few. Some statins are metabolized in the intestines by an enzyme called CYP3A which reduces the amount of drug that enters into your bloodstream. Grapefruit juice contains compounds called furanocoumarins, furanocoumarins, that stop CYP3A from doing its job. As a result, more of the statin is absorbed, increasing the levels of the medicine in the bloodstream, even to toxic levels. Here is the good news. Not all statins are affected equally by grapefruit juice. So grapefruit lovers might want to switch to a statin that is less affected. The statins that are affected by grapefruit juice include Libitor, Zocor, and Mevacor. Some statins that are not affected or minimally affected by grapefruit juice are Crestor, Pravastatin, Pitavastatin, and Fluvastatin. So one option is to switch from statins that are affected significantly to statins that are not affected or minimally affected. Definitely speak to your healthcare provider. Now, if you cannot switch your statin, it is interesting to note that most experts agree a small glass of grapefruit juice is probably okay. Most studies that looked at the interaction of furanocoumarins in grapefruit juice and statins used approximately one quart or more of grapefruit juice. Now, if you're drinking more than a quart of grapefruit juice at one sitting, I think you may have some other things to worry about, but that is just my humble opinion. What about eating half a grapefruit? Eating half a grapefruit is even less risky since it takes several fruits to make a single glass of grapefruit juice. Finally, I am only speaking about the effects of grapefruit juice on statins, but there are several other groups of medicines that can be affected by grapefruit juice. So it is really important to speak with your healthcare provider before adding grapefruit juice or grapefruits to your diet. Another suggestion is to ask your pharmacist to review the meds you are taking and their potential interaction with grapefruit juice. But remember, do not go out and start loading up on grapefruit juice, but rather check with your doctor. Okay, who wants to hear a famous Dr. Dave joke? How about no? Why did the man lose his job at the grapefruit juice factory? He couldn't concentrate. <laughs> Why did the grapefruit stop rolling down the hill? It ran out of juice. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'll stick to cardiology. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.